Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're checking out House of the Dragon Season 2, Episode 7, The Red Sewing. This show is going crazy, so thank you guys so much for, you know, pulling up and hanging out with us for real. And I'm ready to watch this. What's Me up? Me too. I you can't excited? wait. Yes. Yeah, we got a war about to kick off, man. I'm not really sure what's going to happen, but I'm predicting death and carnage. A lot of people were saying this series isn't going to be very long. It's going to go by pretty quick. So I'm excited, man. Y'all ready to get into it? Let's go. Let's go. This is sad that there's only two episodes left. Is that really? What the hell? For how long? A yes. year? I protest. I'm protesting that jump. So this short little season, then we have to wait a whole year. Yeah, y'all couldn't give us 12 episodes. Bro, we should have waited till it was done, like Game of Thrones. <laughs> seen y'all in five years. I feel like an Unsullied or a Dorthraki. I just want to be like, like beating the sick, you know what oh, I mean? Oh yeah, to the sound of the music. You, you know what I was thinking about this show, though? It's the most symbolic show I've seen in, like, a long time. Like every, Maybe ever. Every little thing on it means something else. You know what I think to myself when we watch it? Hmm. This is really complicated of a show. And like, I'm pretty... I need binoculars and bifocals to watch this? Yeah, in my mind, I feel like everyone watching us watch this is, like, a genuine expert on what's going on. This is tough, guys. In the words of my parents, it's just a bunch of blonde people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's what Too many said. blonde people. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I can't keep up with their names. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yeah, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit us up on Patreon if you guys want to see the full uncut reactions. I'm going to shut up. Let's watch some House of the Dragon. We're going to find out what a red sewing is. Oh, that's a tough opening scene. <gasps> oh. It's like Pokemon. Yo, I like her little belt she's got. You see that? Mm hmm Oh, sea smoke looks crazy. What's he even about to say, you know? <laughs> no, him. <laughs> oh, sorry, I was about to be right. You stand before the queen of the seven kingdoms with a dragon of House Targaryen. I had no design upon it. What do you want? To learn the ways of dragon riders. <laughs> to serve my queen. Oh, let's go. He looked happy as hell to have that dragon. He had a good day. <laughs> well, it hunted him down. <laughs> he thought he was about to be food. <laughs> That's so crazy. Yeah, we know you, Sea Smoke. You part of the family. You kneel quickly for a man so suddenly elevated. This dragon came to me, not I to him. <laughs> I have sweated blood in service of House Valarian. I may appear lowborn, but I know much and more of service. And if the gods call me to greater things, who am I to refuse them? I mean, right? Stand. She's like, this is too easy. It's never this easy for me. Right. I normally have to marry someone off or do something crazy for an event. What is your parentage? My mother was a shipwright. My father is no one of consequence. Your ancestors, any of House Targaryen. We're not the sort of family to keep annals, your grace. What is your name? Adam. You have done something I feared impossible. Adam of Hull. I am glad of it. Yes. Do you think you can get him to Dragonstone? I can try. <laughs> I, would I would be, be so suspicious. <laughs> I would be screaming if I wrote that. I'd be like, ah! <laughs> Yeah, I would too. You get some blisters on your hands. You know how the little push motor does you? <laughs> <laughs> Don't do me like that. She's out there, y'all. She's like, Yeah, call <laughs> Baby, I can't oh, get it to start. <laughs> Hold on, let me back it up. Let me back it up. You have a scar. Yeah. That I maester, though, try. he's always at work with for this family. He's always healing them up. All my life, I have endeavored to serve both my house and the realm, and somehow none of it matters. We are cast aside. She's still hurt. All hated. She got attacked in the streets, too. She was in them streets, girl. It would be easily hidden. Nothing is clean here. I'll see. I wish to go out, Sir Ricard. To the Kingswood, I think. Then I'll have the stewards prepare a retinue. No retinue. Then your handmaidens. No handmaidens. Just you. Okay, you little rebel. Oh. King Aemon does not care. What are they for? The block or the crow cage? The wall. The Prince Regent is merciful. No. They started a riot. Justice is served, I suppose. I have received word of a matter of great importance. Rumor of the sighting of the dragon sea smoke. 
Mm -hmm. They're true. <laughs> it's the rider. A fine piece of intelligence. And now you seek favor by delivering it to Prince Aymond. Actually, I thought I might seek your advice. Whispers be in your province. But this is your whisper, Lord Jasper, not mine. But if you can is that it valuable. Yeah, of course. Perhaps you those could deliver it and find clothes? favor with Aymond yourself. Those aren't Aegon's boys, right? <gasps> Yo, it is! Yeah. That's Aww. some dudes he was Who's drinking with. Way? They're going to the wall. That is less clear. It must surely be the Lady Rayna. She has wanted for a dragon all her life. Indeed, but she tried already. She was four and ten. The beast sea smoke very nearly devoured her. Who well, else? Yes, it was a shallow pool. Where did you hear it? My squire. He heard it from a stable hand, who heard it from his father, a fisherman, whose shipmate. Claims he saw it. Y'all are never gonna guess, though. You are, of course, welcome to bring this news to the Prince Regent, but um, perhaps this is one of those whispers best left to the wind. Just don't mention it, huh? That's a bad idea. <clears throat> he looks like he's a William Shakespeare. <laughs> Doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, he kind of does. The Queen is unharmed. What of the rider? Do we know who he is? He appears to be a shipwright in your employ, Lord Hand. A commoner. With respect to your workers, Lord Corliss, the lowborn cannot go around seizing dragons. Has the thief been secured? Her well. grace has commanded that he remain here as a guest. She wishes him to be instructed in the art of dragon riding and that I should teach him some high valyrian. <laughs> <laughs> we know nothing about this man, save that he is lowborn. What say you, Lord Hand? We will await the Queen's accounting. Where is the Queen? On the way. Her grace sends word she will not be attending. Or not. So he serves you, and not himself. That it's lucky. Lucky? Or somehow ordained. Sea Smoke chose him. He surely has Targaryen blood in him somewhere. The dragon must sense it. There will be others. We will find riders for Vermithor and Silverwing. You trust this man? What choice do I have? He has a dragon. Without him, I have only Cyrax. You may give Aemond a second thought. I hope whoever gets the other dragons isn't terrible. I know, right? If I can find others with a more direct line of breeding. <laughs> oh, wow. What if they Forgive just me, have your grace? free will, the dragons? What if that's what it is? But you are better served looking mm. under the sheets and in the wood piles. I once worked in a pleasure house where generations of Targaryen princelings had their revels. There are four score of their bastard progeny, at least, that are known to me. There are sure to be more. That is true. Wrangle them up. You speak of the lowborn. They are as like to serve you as highborn lords or ladies, perhaps more. But in the highborn houses, there is an ancient fealty. There is honor. Your royal half brothers, Aegon and Aemond, whose blood is pure, who wage war against you for your throne. Are they bound by honor. <laughs> so basically, she's saying, wrangle them up. <laughs> common shipwright basically. vows to serve you while your brothers seek to destroy you. The order of things has changed, Your Grace. Why not embrace it? War times, baby. We gotta do what we gotta do. For 20 years, the lords of this realm levied insults at my sons behind my back. Let us raise an army of bastards. That's kind of crazy, right? Like, they did all that talking and the irony. She's just about to embrace it. I know she's like, they, they weren't raised like lords and stuff, so they'll probably be like, stealing the bread off your plate. Yeah, maybe, because they're, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're in the they streets. They were in fighting pits. <laughs> my lord. My lord. How you have come up in the world. I wish to ask for leave to relinquish my part as a shipwright in your service. There are good men and strong who can take my place. Your leave is granted. Well done. Oh. oh. This has got to be awkward for Lord Corliss, though. Because that's like his whole son. Well, he took his Waynor's dragon. And that. Uh, you know I mean, what I mean? Like, right. So that's probably bittersweet to him because a part of him probably feels ashamed that, like, you know, his son died. And My condolences on the passing of your grandson. But the crown congratulates you on your ascension to the head of your house and Lord Paramount in the Riverlands. Truly glorious. Well Don't done. Don't manipulate him. I did nothing. Nevertheless, you are here, which is the important thing. You were quick enough to dismiss me before. You have no significance to me then. Now. A realist. <laughs> I shall have my great hopes. <laughs> you have a decision to make. I presume it is clear to you which is the right one. I am green in this sort of matter, as you so kindly point out. It does seem to me that you've made rather a mess here. Mm -hmm. Countenancing <laughs> barbarities in the Queen's name. The Rivellans are held together by oaths. House Tully swore an oath to King Viserys. We recognize the authority of the named heir, Queen Rhaenyra, and your own as her king consort. Then we shall go to face your vassals and you will call your banners to war. That might be difficult, my king. I was told they would come to heel when House Tully declared its allegiance. That may be the case. Though it is yet to be seen that they will heed my authority as young as it is. And there is another problem. They'll hate you. 
That is true. Dang, little Grover. I don't need their love. I need their swords. The river lords await. I fear we cannot delay them any longer. Come along, Lord Oscar. Oh, it's Oscar, not Grover. <laughs> My bad. You guys about to say Grover totally died. Yeah. Yeah. Oscar totally's a kid. He looks like he should be on Stranger Things. Right, because he's like Will's age. Mm. In the deepest darkness comes the dawn. A new lord. A new beginning. Let us put all the old unpleasantness behind us. Be welcome, my lords. And you have my thanks for answering my summons. I know I'm of the man my grandsire was. I hope to begin well and go on from there. Well said. One thing is clear. <laughs> That's how I felt. Well said, yeah. The rivermen honor the old ways and abide by tradition. Here then is tradition. You have been summoned here to swear anew your fealty to him and as his bannermen answer his call. In his wisdom, he has pledged his house and yours to me. Lord Oscar, for generations we have been guided by the judgment of your forebears. Why should we now follow a boy younger than my own sons, when you will align with one who will desecrate the innocent to reach his aims? I did only what was necessary, my lord, and I now deliver to you the traitor Amos Bracken and his son. No more traitor to his land than you, Willem Blackwood. I take to heart your words, Lord Piper, and I have no love for Damon Targaryen. He has dishonored himself and the crown with his comportment here. Nevertheless, <laughs> <laughs> Having so little experience to guide me, my best course is to defer to the oath my grandsire swore to King Viserys when he named Rhaenyra his heir. There you go. I see no reason to cast aside loyalty, no matter how loathsome I may find her representative, the prince. King, <laughs> mind your tongue, boy. For real, he slices and dices on sight. Will you have our army or not? <laughs> Damon. <laughs> I am, in the end, a river man, and the word of my house stands, even if certain people are unworthy of it. People back then were so much better at not interrupting. Mm -hmm. Your Lord Oscar is bold. <gasps> oh my gosh. I may have been a touch enthusiastic in pursuing my aims, but don't allow my failings to keep you from supporting an upright man. We honor the old ways, as Prince Damon says. And the old ways call for justice to be done. Yes. Justice has been done. They who bent the knee to the usurper have been brought to heel. And now we unite before our liege lord and our king consort. I accept you as my vassal, Willem Blackwood. I am Ooh. Lord Paramount of all river houses. And there is only one answer for the crimes you visited upon your neighbors. So he really is about that justice, huh? The king required of me. It is true nah. that he made clear his base desires, but you did not have to pursue such savagery. You did it because you wanted to. Our young lord speaks truly. Seize him. Did you see that coming? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I didn't either. Grace, command them. I've only served you. Uh oh. Nah. Command nah. them. They like I'm off the hook. He's off the hook. Yeah. Yeah. And to prove himself deserving of our banners, he must now rectify his grievous error. That's Denounce your crazy. crimes and dispense justice. Oh dear. He said, knock if you buck. <laughs> Oscar making moves, boy. Damon will just let everyone take the fall for him, <laughs> won't he? Look at him. He's very talkative when he wants to be, but when he does. Oh, no, shoot. No, no. That's crazy. <laughs> Bro, Damon cannot be king. You know what I mean? He would make a terrible king. <laughs> Damon. That nuts. There's that demonic goat again. The black one? He's probably about to chop it up. <laughs> oh, man. The best character. Your grandsire demands it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's carrying that crown. Jaharis's. What is this? I never wanted it. I was right not to. All that pain it caused. Mm. Crushes. Whoever wears it, do you want it still? This is like Lord of the Rings. I know. Is that a start? Kind of looked like it, didn't it? I miss the Starks. That's, that's what I'm missing from this. I'm, I miss them. That's obviously Aegon, right? <laughs> that's the game. Oh. I can't. I can't. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> A moment, a moment, please! I told you that Maester boy. Yeah, they need to give his really ass a raise. Be doing that alone, Grand Maester. Viserys yeah. Jr. right there. Not me. He was just like him too, don't he? Uh, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Except his ears, the opposite of Viserys' mm. bad ear. But the hair and everything. 
Goodness. Your progress is impressive. <laughs> wow. That's but sad. I'm you must work harder. Your strength will return. You should be more cautious. I, I should, Lord Laris. He, he needs rest. He should be abed. I push him on your instruction. Let him try again in a few hours. He is spent. Oh, he just wants that power. He wants Laris to... needs him. Laris wants to be hand, probably. Man, those scenes are kind of tough to watch, ain't they? Yeah. Imagine if they were king in hand, though, with their canes. What's this about to be like? Conversation. I have tasks that need your personal attention. The Queen requires ships at her service in King's Landing. Ensure their captains are dependable. Put trusted swords aboard. Yes, my lord. Have them wait just outside the harbor, and there'll be a message to carry to one she will name. Is that snow? It looks like the upside down. No, <laughs> it. The Queen has found a new rider for one of her dragons. Mm -hmm. I've heard tell of it. You know him. The rider is your brother. She now makes the call for others. That's you. We are no dragon lords. I confess I knew little of your mother's heritage. If it is something in the blood. My brother was ever restless, yearning for some sign of his worth. I am of salt and sea. Hey. I yearn for nothing else. Let's go. <laughs> he said he's, very well. He's a shipman. Very well. He's like, just like me. We can't you ride can't dragons. Argue with that, yeah. yeah. But boy, can we, what can you do? Mask the hole? <laughs> yeah, we can go cast away on that mother. Oh, I love that little dress thing. Okay, bye. Now they got an automatic gate. <laughs> <laughs> like Kroger. I think she's gonna go track that dragon. You think she wants to ride that thing, don't you? She said, I'm tired of being left out. Mm -hmm. yeah, right. She's on the track. That. That's what track. it was like when you get done cooking. Oh. <laughs> That's how that chicken looks. But this is scary because you know when they claim dragons, they could just burn you up. Yeah, you got to be willing to die for it. Yeah. Yeah. That's why he's like, I'm of salt and sea, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm of salt and sea. I don't got to tame this ship. I just got to step on it. <laughs> oh. It's just Paul Bunyan. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you knew how to ride a horse in the woods, Allison. I will retire now, Sir Rickard. When does your grace mean to return to the city? I'm not yet certain I do. Oh, she wants to move to the country. Right. Maybe she'll move to Winterfell. This is like Sir Kristen Cole and Rhaenyra. You yeah, know how they went when camping they were camping. Yeah. <laughs> the lowborn claiming dragons. Was it her idea? Lady Massaria? You were enthusiastic enough when Sir Stefan made his claim. He was the Lord Commander of your Queen's Guard. Heir to the Dunfall. These people are hey, courageous. You're a bastard, though, bro. Mongrels. Mongrels. The M word. <gasps> I know well what is at stake. House Targaryen is the blood of the dragon. If any may lay claim to it, what are we then? The rightful rulers of the Seven Kingdoms. And what if one of your base born, silver haired dragon riders decides he wants to rule the Seven Kingdoms? Did the Conqueror right, dream though. to tell that? Yeah, he kind of is, right? What else <clears throat> would you have me do? Prosecute a war, which we will lose, in which thousands will die. Or perhaps you will fly against her on Vermax. Vermax is like a little Yoshi, ain't he? Jace, <laughs> with these riders, we can end a needless war. I may take my rightful place on my father's throne. And when you die? You are my heir. He'll have to inherit the bastards. Yeah. That's, that's what he's low-key, like, I think, concerned about. Did you think I would have dark hair? <laughs> Say what's really bothering you, bro. <laughs> when you took... How and strong into your bed. Did you think I might favor him or did it not cross your mind? I'm no fool, mother. The proof is here for all to see. Yet I may argue my legitimacy to succeed you because I have a dragon. And now you say you'll strip that from me too. Oh, so that was what makes him elite is the dragon. Yeah, he's scared he's going to lose. And if you can give it his to status, Joe Schmo. he's a bastard. He's insecure, right. yeah. But he still has a point, though. Yeah, he does. Yeah. But it's one of those. <sighs> it's good for the realm or it's good for my family, but it's good for me too. Then don't pursue it. Oh, this is going to cause a divide. But I cannot gainsay that which the gods have laid before me. That's exactly what, what was his name? Adam? Yeah. That's what Adam said, right? Do whatever you must to see that it finds her. From the queen. Mmm, a nice basket of fish. Yeah, we can play on uh, silvers with that good. Isn't this Rhaenyra music? <laughs> I like that. Did you see that Targaryen girl? Mm -hmm. I like this aspect right here. How like the music's playing and it's like Rhaenyra's coming in. But that's not Rhaenyra. Yeah, but that's her handmaiden. Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, they're loyal to Damon, huh? You won't believe I this. I think and Rhaenyra too, because the Uber Eats last episode. Mm -hmm. Rhaenyra's recruiting small folk to go to Dragonstone. Oh, fuck that. Oh, they won't take you anyway. <laughs> <laughs> 
They're looking for Targaryen bastards. Boats leave tonight. It's your time, brother. Out of the bat. Devon Hell's off. This is it. Yeah, a likely story. You've been taken in, lads. No, 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 no. The Queen's own handmaid is here, spreading the word. I've been first in line, if it wasn't for my injury, because my leg hasn't been the How same. Are you touched? Since. He's saying you can claim a dragon. A chance to stick it to Eamon. And claim a dragon. Dragon! Yeah, no, I know. I just, I can't, I can't be sure it's all true. Ah. You can't mean that you've been drinking at the expense of all these, these good people. Right, he, he's not even sure. No, they won't be happy. I'll be very unhappy. Never live it down. Never live it down. <laughs> Come on, Ulf. He's trying to say he's on the injured reserve list or something. Where is it? There's the Ulf I know. Yes. Hey, hey, yes, hey, there he is. There he yes. is. Hey. Yes. Why? Well, I think, I don't even think he's injured. I think he was he pretending was he's injured because he didn't want to yeah, <laughs> yeah. admit that he, he might not be legitimate. He's like, I think I am. I kind of want him to. Yeah, he's going to be a damn good appetizer. The dragon's going to eat him up if go. he goes. I have to, cut. And this guy's just going to look like Thor. Go brother in Tumbleton. You'll find work. I can't ignore this. I never knew my father, but I did know my mother. She worked in a pleasure house. She was granted more freedom than most because of who she was and because rich men paid more for a woman with silver hair. Ooh, that makes wow. sense. That hair dye cell just went up, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> silver is in, boys. Well, I was ashamed of that. Wow. I tried to make my way with my own hands. Carlos will fill you on that. I could not protect you. I could not keep our girl alive. Oh. And now we would never want again. If I claimed a dragon, they'd make you a lady. She don't even want all that. She's trying to move with, in I with her brother. I do not care to be a lady, Hugh. Right. And neither do I want to be a widow. Right. That's risky. I have to do something. Damn, he's desperate. He's like the Sandman from Spider-Man. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I love that. But I love that because we've known about these two and I was wondering what in the heck are they going to like when get is it going to become relevant? Yeah. Like I know we got to see their struggle and I was appreciating that, but I really didn't think they would get to like get a chance. So I hope it goes well for one of them at least. <laughs> My guess is one of them's gonna get eight, one of them might not. Oh, I think the Viking, one of them's married, right? Yeah. Well, Hugh, the Viking's Hugh, gonna make it. Hugh, you think Hugh's gonna make it? Ulf, no, Ulf might make it, and Hugh might not the, because the he's married. Guy? The goofy guy who didn't even know if he was really Targaryen. Yeah. Well, Ulf does know he's Targaryen because he's Daemon and Viserys' brother. Dang. Mm -hmm. Is she baptizing herself? She's like wading in the water. It's scary because they like hint at her like drowning herself in the bathtub. So like this is a scary moment. Oh, like Ophelia? Well, she didn't drown herself in a bathtub. You guys know what Ophelia is? No, I'm talking about Allison. She always is like in bathtubs. But you know what Ophelia is, right? Yeah. All right, I figured you did. Whoa. That looks like it has scales on it. Did you see that? That's a lot of slanging they've been doing. That's a lot of blondes. Mm -hmm. She's like, ugh. <laughs> My family nasty, boy. Y'all really out there. Y'all reckless. Skurion <laughs> Jutra. And Andal. The dragon killed somebody. Yeah, Darklin. That happened last episode. No one. Oh. Guys, I'm sorry. I thought he was pissed off because she just sent somebody in there and they just got burnt up. And then he was no, like. she was talking about the. Yeah, the other guy. Yeah, 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 yeah I know. Okay. Vesir Jaihosa. Yeah, they really did train forever to get to ride dragons, and it's like these people have no training. Desperate times calls for desperate measures, don't it? It's a wartime, baby. We gotta do what we gotta do. I used to think I knew what it was to claim a dragon. I understand now that what I thought I knew is ash in the wind. Perhaps it is blood, or worth, or perhaps it's something else. Each of you has left behind a life to answer this call. A life to which you might never return. If you survive, you will be transformed. A man or woman can face a dragon and be otherwise. Some of you may welcome the prospect of change, even death, given the alternatives. Privation, starvation, war. This is our purpose, to end those hardships. For you, for your kin, for all the realm. With these two dragons added, to our number, the enemy will have no choice but to give way, and peace will be restored. Nice week. Suffering will be ended, and without bloodshed, God's willing. I mean, good on her for making it out to seem like it's their war. Yeah. <laughs> the dragon, named Vermithor, is the largest in the world, after Vega. <laughs> 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 oh, mm -mm. He's called the Bronze Fury. We'll go to him now. 
May the gods bless you. What if she's just killing off the challengers, though? Have you ever thought about that? What do you mean? They could take it as a perception as she's killing off anyone who could, you know, Go join challenge the other side. her. No, who could challenge her for the throne. Well, I was going to say, what if they get the dragon and decide they're pissed off that they were left to go rot, essentially, until they were needed? Yeah, that's you know what, what I mean? Jace was saying, mad. in yeah. a way. He was saying, well, on his behalf, you know. Yeah. But this could be a good way to get Drakaris up. Nigel Maziz. And even Rhaenyra looks a little unsure, don't she? Mm-hmm. Because she said, come on, and it's basically like, yes, my queen. <gasps> Whoa. Remember when they killed Varys? How the dragon came up from behind her? That was like, that looked better. Because that one's huge. Guys, that was crazy. That was the best dragon scene of Game of Thrones so far. And that's the best outfit she has a hat on. Game of Thrones or House of the Dragon. The High Rush! said I gave her a little attitude <laughs> I got teeth bigger than you woman oh oh I said I know her I said Neutrogena <laughs> I love that crazy who among you would be first why did it look like Ulf was gonna say it who's this Aegon looking fella I know dang he kind of does look like Aegon don't he He's been through it. I have nothing more to tell you. It must be the dragon who speaks. She said good luck, basically. Dang, she's up in the main press box. It looks scary. Take it. Oh my gosh. You win or you die. We must away. <laughs> They're trying to leave. Those guards dumb as hell. Y'all gonna get burnt up too. What if none of them work, you know, and she just torched a bunch of folks? Or what if the dragon's just like, you know what, whoever lives. Oh, he's spraying right now. The, the dragon's probably like, why would I let a halfling ride me? He ate him like a vine of sausage. I know, he was. Oh, oh, that was crazy, bro. They just showed her face light up. She's kind of tough for that. <laughs> hey, what you doing, Rhaenyra? What the hell? If I would look at that as like a mad queen move, like. No. <laughs> it's your boy. It's your boy. You made it. Now get out. <laughs> he still might get eight though. <gasps> okay, he was still here. Thank goodness. This is scary. Ooh, I thought that was some slush. Looks like that dragon was eating a marshmallow that got caught on fire. Oh my gosh. Man, I was about to say, you can't run from a dragon. Oh, no, 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 no. <gasps> Dang! Do you think he's embarrassed? Because he just swatted and missed. <gasps> no! Here I am. <laughs> oh, he's stepping up! Oh, Hugh. We've seen it all before. <gasps> I'm ready. No, Dahir, is this not what you say? Yell back. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> he's like Joe from Family Guy. <laughs> Bring it on! Y'all know what I'm talking about. Maybe they didn't need to speak Valyrian to it. Maybe they just need to speak English. That dragon had an attitude, so he matched it. <laughs> <laughs> it's smiling. Aww. I don't know. I'd always feel a little weird about my dragon knowing what I had to go through to get it. <laughs> like, what if you went to go pick out a dog from the vet and it slaughtered everybody in there? <laughs> it was like, but not you. Oh, look at Rhaenyra. That's so crazy. Oh, my God. She's kind of a tyrant. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, buddy. That was like gladiator in a way. Hell no, not at all. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It was 100%. That is crazy. Oh, he made it. He's still in the pits running around. Is he? <laughs> he's unaware the game's over. <gasps> oh. Whoa, dragon eggs, dragon eggs. Did you see that? A red one. <gasps> oh, there's I a dragon knew it. behind him. Oh, that's your ass right there. Dude. <gasps> he didn't even notice the dragon. Oh, it blended in so good. It really did. It was like Drogon before Jon Snow went up in there. It was like he just got pulled over. <gasps> Whoa. Who's that one? Is it being mean or nice? I don't know. That dragon's kind of bullying him, ain't he? Don't let him bully you, Leon. Oh, <laughs> I no think it way. likes him. He was waiting to get burnt. He closed his eyes. <laughs> he was like. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no way. 
<laughs> it's like the dragons have personalities. Yeah. <laughs> that one There's likes great the drunk concern guy. concern that his host is threatened on two fronts by armies allied with House Beesbury. In happier tidings, Prince Darren's dragon Tassarian has at last taken to wing. Your brother expects to join the fight soon. Dragon! Oh, the brother's when coming. Does, the High Tower host will be unstoppable. So his brother's on the way there right now? He's there? I guess. That's what he said. What's going on here? Who would that be? Is that Cecil? It looks like it with the horns on his head. Or is that the one Ulf just was... <gasps> Goofy boy can't even ride it. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna be so proud of him at the bar. <laughs> Open the gate! Where's oh my god, going? he's going to get his dragon. His dragon's too big for the dragon pits. Oh my Biggest god. dragon. Dude, so he, he has, has to, to get on a it. horse. He has to park it outside the gate. <laughs> that's like locking your guns up in a gun safe. And having a... Oh, that's that's a really big disadvantage, though. Right. Like, when dragon they war the breaks city. out, you gotta run all the way down the damn block. <laughs> but his dragon was cute. It popped up and was like... It was like... You ready for war? <laughs> <laughs> She loves that war. Oh, Vagar wants to attack. Vagar wants that action. <laughs> that was restraint from it for him. Dude, oh my god. That's tough. At the beginning of the episode, she had one. Look, Remember? She leveled up. The one up there on the on the castle's crazy. Uh -huh. Some damn good craftsmanship. Because that castle would crumble if that was me. Great episode. Insane. That was so good. I love how Eamon wasn't ready, man. He just wasn't ready. I like that he showed restraint because old Damon would have been like, whatever you say, Vagar. Okay, guys. So that was House of the Dragon this week, man. Uh, let me know in the comments section, what did you guys think about this week's episode? I know I always start off by asking you. So, uh, babe, what do you think? I loved it. I still don't know what a red sewing is. Um, it did not really tell me that. But... Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, but... Maybe it's like a faux pas or something like that. You guys will let us know in the comment section for sure. Yeah. Let us know what we missed there. But it was a dragon episode. Yeah, it was. Dragon it really heavy. was, wasn't it? It was a team. It was a team black episode is what yeah, it was, man. Just a big win for them, which which was needed because since Damon's been, you know, in Luigi's mansion, we have had no wins here. It's just been like, except for like kind of, you know, Masaria and um, them sending it all the supplies. That was a win, but I think that right there gave them this. I think the biggest win we've gotten so far is the fact that we've been able to, and I know like with the brackens and stuff, it's been pretty tough, but we've been able to avoid, you know, conflict for the mm -hmm. most part. So that's sort of a win for the realm, you know, a lot of really, really interesting character developments this episode for sure. I feel like the whole theme of Damon's little flashbacks is he's, he, he knows deep down in his subconscious, he needs to stop trying to be the king. Mm. Does it, is that what you're getting from that? I feel that? like it, it's a mission to show that he needs Rhaenyra. That's what I think. So I'm thinking, that, so that's the way I'm taking it, except I'm taking it more of like he needs Rhaenyra, but he needs to support Rhaenyra and he needs to stop trying to be a king because even in this episode, it showed again how he's just not really fit to be king. Right, again, he know? got played up by Oscar. This is like the third time in the series that he's basically not taking responsibility for his actions and he's let the innocents, you know, it's a common theme, right? The right. innocent people always have to deal with the bloodshed of it. Yeah, just a crazy episode. It was so sad to see Aegon sitting there struggling so bad with his I know, it's crazy because you don't like the guy because of the bad things he's done, you know, all those crazy things, but I don't want to see him hurting like that at all. It, it's really sad to see, but the cool dynamic of it is Laris pushing him so hard to get better because Laris wants the power. Well, Laris is really banking on tradition because in his mind, the line of succession still goes through Aegon, so he's really banking on that. But you can see with Rhaenyra, like she's sort of changing up tradition. Mm -hmm. So, which is scary. You, you know? know what it I mean? It's like scary. every, it's like the traditions and everything. Like the way, even like the way people may perceive dragons and stuff. It seems like it's about to change. Right? Do you, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because like, they marched a dragon through the streets right. and showed that they could be killed, and that was a huge moment. Yeah. And now they're showing that the Targaryen family doesn't necessarily have to like look exactly a certain way and bear like this perfect name and just be like this perfect highborn. You can have. They're not gods anymore. I guess Targaryens. on some level you gotta have the blood, but it can be a little messier than that. Yes. There's more there's more wiggle room there. You don't have to be some highborn lord that has known about dragons their whole lives to be a rider of a dragon. So they just have thought for years that this is these are gods. These people are um 
elite. Maybe that will crumble because, you know, when we hop into Game of Thrones, it's obviously there was Robert's Rebellion and then Robert. And so people were still serving the Targaryens up to that point. So how much do they really change their perception? They're still going to war over her. Mm -hmm. Like all these people were still willing to show up for Rhaenyra knowing that. Well, I guess they didn't really know that. But do you get what I'm saying, mm -hmm. though? Like they're also falling in line. But um, I think the craziest part of this episode was definitely Alicent. Because right. she's in such a weird position. Right? She's on like a dang single girl retreat or something like that. It's almost like she was part of this war. She sort of started. And now she's almost now that she's not relevant. Honestly, yeah, let's, relevant. Be real, let's be you know, real about it. She's not relevant. You know, man, I just feel like she started this war and now she's sort of just checking out of it. But I guess the the people in her life sort of took the war from her. Right. They took control of it. So in a way, like, you know. If you start a war and then get to skate, like you're one of the luckiest people ever, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, like, like she's there, just going so to there's a gel the cell with your name on it somewhere, but you're lucky. You're like <laughs> Right. And then she pulled a f and then the show pulled a full um Ophelia in then. You guys already know about that. And you know, Allison looked up and maybe she was finding purpose because she was floating and then she was looking up. And what'd she see? A bird. Was of it some a bird? Sort. Yeah. It could have been Bran. Could have been telling her like, Bran yo. Like, ah. <laughs> right. Yo, there's more to this. <laughs> yeah, every bird's Bran. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, man, just a really, really good episode. I feel like we still sort of need that action. Like we need yeah. that war. But I understand why we're putting it off because I feel like, you know, there could be so many battles. You know how in Game of Thrones, the ultimate objective was... Uh, accomplished by like multiple battles and lots yeah. of bloodshed with this one they're putting off the battles and putting off the battles because there's so many dragons involved that i feel like when we do finally go to war and settle it once and for all i got a feeling it's going to be swift heavily heavily destructive and it it's could cause be a doom it. or something just like it did before well game so of thrones dangerous. had the long night episode where basically mm -hmm. they fought the dead in one episode mm -hmm. so maybe this show will do the same you know what i mean they're yeah. gonna have like the doom 2.0 mm -hmm. but how did I don't really remember in the history of war King's Landing ever being completely decimated or anything. Mm -hmm. so, so it looks like it's gonna be fought in a different maybe over the ocean. Maybe. Maybe maybe know. that's why we don't hear about the Valerions much anymore. Maybe they get burned up. I don't know. I don't know. There's so many dragons threatening right now that you would imagine if war broke out between this many dragons, it would cause death, destruction, and carnage that would be, you know, insane. Like, yeah. Insane. I mean, you just saw what that dragon did in that pit. Well, you saw what happened in the bells. Yeah, in the bells, it was one dragon versus just King Drogon, Landon. and Drogon wasn't it wasn't anything compared yeah, to Vagar. Baby dragons, yeah. yeah. That was crazy. It was crazy that Reyna, um, because I'm really thinking something big for Reyna's character. I really am feeling. Well, she ain't getting a dragon. I, there's that still one. There's still one now. Oh there. yeah, there is that she's yeah. tracking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I there feel was like three yes. and two's been claimed. Okay, I right. feel like she's gonna get that, but then, but then we heard about a whole other dragon in um, what was it? Their other son, the other Targaryen boy, um, the one that Otto's with. I don't remember he's, his name. He's right. The one that she was asking about. How's and their, he doing? And their How's dragon was named like Tesla or something like that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but um, anyways, the. That guy is coming, so I'm I'm sure he's gonna be Team Green. So Vagar would only have one other dragon with with her, which Rhaenyra just now has what five? Yeah, Rhaenyra basically has all the power at this point. I mean, she's winning the Dragon War, you know. So her objective yeah. is still to win without bloodshed and carnage, right? Though, so well, which Damon is raising the land army right now, right? Like that's his whole objective, mm -hmm. and they're kind of just letting him go with it. Like they're just like whatever. Like we have to say he's not gonna be able to do it. But if he does it, it's just a plus for them. Right. So and now he has alliances with the Tolly. Right. So now that he got excused he of that, that whole like Blackwater, I mean Black Bracken thing, then he's like, like that's a win for him. You didn't think that? Do you think the reason this little boy's so young and the reason they chose to make him talk to Damon the way they did is to almost like humble him and put him in his place a little bit? Yeah, to show yeah. Damon that like okay cool we can like cut people's heads and be a warrior all we want but you still have to like get people to like you and then damon sliced that dude's head off for basically you know who he's like on survivor who am i gonna say who he's like on survivor damon yeah i don't know who. he's like russell like oh yeah, yeah he's, like, he's russell. like russell like nobody he does all these things where nobody will like you and then in the Baby, end that's offensive damon is nowhere near as terrible as russell okay <laughs> <laughs> russell was just the worst but you know look up saying? russell hant survivor but guys. you know what i'm saying life. like because at the end uh, in survivor you guys they have to like you in the end to win the million dollars so you can get to the t to the final three any way you want but that doesn't mean they're gonna vote for you yeah. on the jury because and that's how damon is yes he's like trying to make it to the end but he ain't thinking anyways man he just 
he needs to just report Rhaenyra. You know what I mean? Like he needs to just live, and he needs to honor Viserys at this point and just try to spend the second half of his life doing a little better than in the first half. So I think this this um, fiasco at Heron Hall will teach him what he needs to learn. It has to. And now Lord Corlys sort of has someone in line potentially to take over the Salt Throne. Right. You know, because I am of uh, what do you say? Salt I am of sea. Salt and Sea. That's right. So and I that's love what Bela that. said to him. What's their What's their name? Is Alan and Alan and Ad- Adam and Alan. Alan with a Y, 2D Adam. <laughs> so yeah, those characters are obviously extremely important at this point. And I never heard of their place where they're from, though. Of Hole, I never heard of that. Yeah, maybe we'll, we'll learn. But it's yeah. sad because Lord Corlys is sitting there, almost like. It's almost like he raised Lainor, right? Mm-hmm. And Lainor existed. And then Lainor, quote unquote, died, right? Qu- and he was quote, highborn. Unquote. Oh, it's matching the theme perfectly. Right, exactly. But not only he he died, quote unquote, at what age in his life? Around his like, you know, midlife age, around yeah. 30, 27, 30, somewhere around in there. Mm-hmm. 27 ish. He dies years go by. And now all of a sudden, Lord Corliss has these bastard sons who he didn't have anything to do with the first half of their lives because mm. he was busy with Lenor. And now they just pop into his life around the same age that Lenor was when he popped out. So you can see that he's probably like a little embarrassed of himself, especially because he now has like his his late wife. And accepting that he did father bastard children is probably disrespectful to like, you know, his previous wife, and it's just pretty complicated in that regard, right? Mm-hmm. But you can tell that he's sort of proud of them because they're self-made men and right. stuff, you know? So he's sort of, I think he admires the fact that they both are where they are and he had nothing to do with it and mm-hmm. they still turned out okay. So really interesting. One of them end up getting a dragon and one of them is about to basically be like the master of ships or Which whatever, ties so. directly into exactly where the show's headed, where you can be highborn and you can have dragons and you can be lowborn and you can ride dragons. Just like Jon Snow. Yeah. He was a bastard and look what he did. Right. Which which honestly, you know, silly us, Jon Snow did all that. And I, I'm not sitting here thinking like, oh, anyone would I'm like, you're not you're not silver haired enough to be riding a dragon, but Jon Snow did it and what the heck? I That's knew right. that. That's right. John had silver ball hair. That's what John had. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um yeah, John was the goat, man. Maybe it's because his wolf was so well, it was white, but you know, we'll go silver. Yeah, man, I have no idea. <laughs> uh yeah, for real, man. Thank you guys so much for tuning in with us and watching these episodes. I say episodes because I say episodes. Like I appetizer. cannot believe there's one left. I cannot believe that. It's gonna be crazy. I only can imagine that we're gonna get someone important so gonna die. You're telling me that there's one more at Epi- ep- episode right so i'm really one gonna work episode. on that okay so there's one more episode and then we have to wait a whole year before we watch more house of the dragon or like years too. one thing is okay so we're gonna watch um game of thrones again uh, at some point you know uh we really will do that but i'm definitely gonna watch this show again because i feel like this one's a little more complicated it, this one's harder to learn than game of thrones i, I do feel like I feel like this one's pacing is a little faster. Well, I don't want to start making comparisons or say which one's better or which one's worse or whatever. You can just, you know, answer that for yourself. But definitely this one, I feel like, is a little more advanced, if that makes sense. It's a little harder to understand. Not in the sense that it's hard to follow. It's just just in terms of all the dragon names. Like, you have to have a really good concept of the lore. Like, if you were to jump in here first... It would be confusing because, like, I feel like because I know the lore, I know like a little bit about like honor in this world and la la la, secession, usurping, all that junk. I get it a little bit. It could just be me though. But for real, man, thank you guys so much for tuning in for real. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you guys want to help the channel. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.